What's up, you guys? Josh Tonga here. Today, I want to talk about the key to effortless manifestation. Sounds all nice and calming, right? Well, it should be. Now, why is it so important? You see, I've come across or even heard a lot of people say that no matter how hard they try believing for something, notice my words, things just don't seem to manifest for them. So they struggle with this whole concept of the law of attraction, wondering if it really works. Then there are those who do believe in the law of attraction, but for them, whenever they try manifesting something into their lives, for whatever reason, it seems to take so freaking long <laughs> for it to manifest. And so throughout my life, I've observed and experienced the many different ways we all try to get stuff to happen. You know what I'm saying? to try and manifest things according to our particular worldview or religion or paradigm, whether it be through what some would call prayer or meditation, certain rituals we do, or whatever. But when things don't seem to be working out for us and the things that we're believing for don't seem to be manifesting, our initial response is usually to work harder for it. To believe harder, whatever that means. <laughs> and so I've seen people increase their times of prayer and meditation to several hours a day. Or some people would end up even crying out to God, pleading and begging the universe for help. And a lot of us have been there. And I know I have, especially when I was injured and sick several years ago. Now, don't misunderstand me. Okay, I'm not saying hard work or prayer or meditation is bad. but without the proper mindset in place. When you do things from a place of striving, from a place of struggle and of fear and lack, instead of from a place of rest and peace and love and feeling good, then it could be a problem. Because I started to see on how so many people who'd put in so much effort, so much energy, both physically and mentally, who come from a mindset of lack of, I don't have such and such, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it they eventually get tired. Shoot, I got tired. And I thought to myself, there must be another way. Straight up, there must be another way to get results than to constantly struggle and strive to try and force things to happen. To try and force, for example, a healing in the body. Or to try and believe so freaking hard to attract money. Or to keep asking or begging God, the universe, for help over and over again for whatever it is that you need. And so here's what I realized that after so many years of claiming to believe in a loving and in a friendly universe, the reason why it's so difficult to manifest certain things, especially when you're trying really, really hard to make something happen, is just that, folks. You're trying too hard. In other words, the key to effortless manifestation, listen, is less effort. Less effort. Look, it's been said that we are to ask and to believe and to receive. Cool, I get that. But let me just add another thing. Not that it's wrong, but for the sake of clarity. We also need to let go. We need to let go. What do I mean? And so here is a paradox, you guys. Isn't it interesting, and you might be able to relate to this because I know that I can, is that when you don't need the money, you get it. Or when you stop trying so hard to get a client, all of a sudden, someone seeks you out. Or when you stop trying so hard to come up with the rent money at the end of the month, and you fall short, all of a sudden, the moment you stop striving, and you're like, shoot, I don't know what to do anymore. You know, I give up. Then boom, money somehow appears, right? And so here's the eye-opener. The moment you have the courage to free yourself from the strong emotional attachment to a specific outcome. Because a strong emotional attachment assumes what? That you don't really have it. That you're clinging on to it so tightly because it's not really yours. So you don't fully own it. You know what I'm saying? And so desperately wanting something badly, being so emotionally attached to a particular outcome means you really, really want it now because you don't have it. But if the law of attraction is true, and if like attracts like, then vibrationally, 
desperately wanting something attracts more what? More wanting, which leads to never having because of the vibration that you're putting out there. Is this making sense? Right now, but someone can say, you know, Josh, why are you trying to make the idea of manifestation and believing so easy for people, right, to do? And my response is, so what? Why not? You know, you want believing and manifestation to be hard? You want it to be difficult? You see, that's the problem. We like to complicate things, even when it's not stinking necessary, because it's hard for some of us to believe that we can manifest things effortlessly because it sounds too good to be true. Look, I don't deny that there are some things that can take up a lot of our time and energy and that the choices we make every day do manifest our reality. But I also recognize that our beliefs and our perceptions matter and that life can be a lot simpler than what some people try to make it out to be. And so instead of focusing on our own efforts, and on our striving, trying to make things happen. I'd rather be focusing on the goodness and on the love of the universe. You see, letting go doesn't mean that you don't put out any intentions. Yes, you can still think about your dreams and your goals. In fact, get excited about them. But, but it's about living from a state of being, a vibration that you already have it, that it's already done, it's already yours. Living from a place a peace and certitude and joy where there's no fear or emotional attachment to the outcome of what if it doesn't happen, right? But instead letting go and letting the universe do its thing. Remember, it's not about forcing anything to happen, you guys. It's about allowing. It's about allowing yourself to have whatever it is that you want and being open. And so think of the universe, God, source, it's like a waterfall pouring all over you. And to detach or to let go means to shift your vibrational state into one of complete non-resistance, non-resistance, where you're in receiving mode, just receiving blessing after blessing and overflowing because of the goodness and of the love of the universe. Being an open channel to receiving more and beyond than any outcome you can conceive of more than you could ever ask or imagine. So let me reinforce this truth for you today, you guys. The universe has your back, okay? God knows your struggles. Source knows your needs. Don't ever forget that. The universe is for you. The universe is for you. And so faith is believing at a heart level in the evidence of the things not seen, that whatever you quote unquote need, you already have. So you can relax and you can chill. So if there are things in your life right now that you're quote unquote wanting or needing to manifest, don't worry about the how. Don't ever worry about the how. That's not your stinking job. Stop trying to be in control of everything because you can't. Your job is to trust. To trust that the universe has everything you need plus more. Plus more that nothing's impossible. And remember, you are one with the divine, with God. You are one with the universal mind whatever you want to call it, there's no separation at all. And since you are one with the infinite, think of that if you can, right? The infinite, where there is no lack, then there's also no lack in you whatsoever. So trust, trust. Look, everything's not going to be okay one day. Why? Because right now, all is well. Everything's already amazing. Speak it. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys. Hope this helps, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like or a thumbs up, and please share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also the bell right next to it, so you'll get notified of any new videos and get encouraged. And if there's something that you want me to talk about, post it in the comments below. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. <music>